the Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. And this book was written by Deborah Dyson and pictures are illustrated by Dan Hanna. And this guy right here is actually Dan Hanna. He is the illustrator of the Pout Pout Fish. He has also illustrated lots of other Pout Pout, Pout, Pout Fish books because there's several of them. And he actually came and visited Riley a few years ago and he showed us how to do some of his really awesome fish illustrations. I just wanted to share that with you guys. When we get back to school next year, when you guys are in first grade, you can, when you stop by the library, you can see that he actually has one of his illustrations up in our library because he gave that to us as a school when he came and visited us. So that's really cool. The ocean is amazing. Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy and his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away when he turned around and saw a big, big mess. Whatever could it be? But he couldn't really tell, so he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Absolutely, said Miss Simmer as she grabbed a few supplies. They traveled to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright but looming in the distance was that dark, dismal sight. A big, big mess. What's it made of? They both wondered and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, Big mess. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? All as one, said Mrs. Squid as she swished away some junk. The group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They made notes and they did research. They took measurements and samples. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. The problem is us. We made the big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too. But there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we cost it, but this bad news can be good, for it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision, but which one would they make? A big, 
big. Yes, we can do it, they exclaimed positively. Yes and yup. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked hard to fix and remedy the damage they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace and reduce their use of plastic and put trash into its right place. Problems have solutions. So we learn what we can do. Together, we are the answer. Hey guys, so today before I go over your assignment, I just wanna uh, give you guys a really quick shout out because you guys have been doing an amazing job. Your animal habitats were super creative. Um, some people made theirs out of Legos and we had Play-Doh and some people used, uh, they reused some recycled things that they found and it was really, really awesome. And I also really enjoyed watching um, your favorite part of the three little fish and the big bat sharks. That was really exciting to see your videos. I'm glad that you guys are having a lot of fun. So today your activity, let me share my screen with you guys. Your activity for today is going to be a writing activity and you can do it on one sheet of paper or can, you can do two sheets of paper, but I would prefer that you do one. So on the top of your paper, I want you to write the title of the story, which is The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. And then you are going to think about what the problem was in the story. So in the story, there was a problem. So think about what was the problem. You're going to write a sentence. So I started the sentence for you. It says, the problem was, and you're going to fill in the rest of the sentence. Don't forget to add a period at the end of your sentence. Make sure that when you're writing, you are doing your best job at writing so that I can read what you wrote because if you are writing too fast, I might not be able to understand what you wrote and I wanna be able to read your writing when you're finished. Under your sentence that you write, you're going to draw an illustration about what the problem was. So remember when you do illustrations, you always want to start with pencil and then you will add color, okay? Because we are doing writing activity today, so we want to make sure and use pencil in case that we need to erase. On the other side of your paper, you're going to think about how they solved the problem in the story. So the characters had a problem. How did they solve it? What was the solution? So I wrote the beginning of the sentence for you. It says, the solution was blank. And then period at the end. And then once again, you're going to draw how the characters solved their problem in the story. And that is your activity for today. Remember, use pencil. Make sure you're writing beautiful, nice, neat letters because we are practicing our first grade handwriting today. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for doing an amazing job and thank you to your parents for helping you right now.